Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, a brand new old school RuneScape boss was released to, well, old school RuneScape. And this video is going to be showcasing you the first 50 kills of the Nightmare boss. Alongside that, we are also going to be showing you some core mechanics and the gear that I use to pretty much always get the kill in the Nightmare. Alongside that, I'll be giving you some tips and I'll be showing you the gear. We'll take a look at the different strategies that you can do. And all in all, this should be a very fun and informative video. And now, before we move on with the video, this video was brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Now, Raid is a free-to-play dark fantasy RPG game, and honestly, ever since it was released on the PC, I've been playing this game for probably a little bit too much. The game is available both on iOS and Android devices, and it is honestly quite fun. If you guys want to check me out in the game, my in-game name is actually MikaDMM. And currently I'm working on ascending my brand new champion that I recently pulled, which is Errol. As you can see, you need to collect different potions in order to ascend the champions. And at the moment I am working on defeating the forest dungeon bosses in order to get the potions to ascend and make this champion even stronger. Now if you're a brand new player and you want to try out Raid, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. By clicking the link and then opening the game, click this button right here here this little chest thingy and uh, well 100,000 silver and the champion hexweaver should be waiting here for you to collect so feel free to enjoy those champions if you haven't tried out raid yet and with that being said a big shout out to raid for sponsoring the video take a look at my gear this is what i'm rocking it's pretty much max strength now where you can down gear you can always do this boss with the whip with the bludgeon you can down gear your bandos if you don't have it but at the moment the boss isn't very profitable uh, currently the basic drops you won't even break even you will actually lose money doing the boss until the point where you actually get a rare drop so that's a fair thing to notice currently we are located in the very shinaza or whatever the fuck this thing is the boss however is located located in sleep we are in Mauritania and the best way to get to the boss is to teleport with the dragon's medallion if you don't know how to get that it is a quest reward I suggest you to just google it uh, but uh, it teleports you right over here and from here we pretty much just have to run a little bit north and a little bit east until we reach the dungeon now currently my inventory is quite complicated because I do have a lot of magic switches a lot of people aren't gonna have that many switches and the reason for that is because I do have a secondary account that uh, just carries supplies for me. You obviously do not need to do that and if you do not have a secondary secondary account to carry supplies for you I suggest you to completely ditch the mage gear. Currently there is enough players to the point where first of all mage gear isn't even needed. You can just melee the pillars but secondly um, you know you have eight more inventory spaces for food and supplies so that is not necessary. However I will be taking it and I will show you where I use it and once again I am I'm going to be using pretty much the best gear aside from Infernal Cape because, uh, well, I haven't really been playing much on this account and Infernal Cape was not yet on the list of things that I want to do. However, in the very near future, we are going to be changing that. But with that being said, let's go ahead and check the kill. As you can see, we are running through the sleep right now and uh, down these stairs is where, um, you know, the dungeon will be located. Uh, once you're down here, I also forgot a stamina in my inventory. You do want to run, um, you know, right and then up so this is where a nightmare will be located once you do reach the place where nightmare is located you will have to go through the short conversation with shura and this character also allows you to collect your items if you plan on dying however you do need to pay her 60k to do so as you can see you cannot actually enter the room until the nightmare is either defeated or all the players inside are dead so therefore we're gonna be waiting a little bit another tip though that i forgot to mention is i love to use entity hider on rune light so as you can see someone literally just died i think never mind they didn't uh but I'm basically hiding players. These three things is what I have ticked off and that makes me see, um, you know, nightmares attacks because if I don't have that, uh, you know, having 100 people in the same spot, same location is just a big mess. So I personally have Entity Hider enabled, therefore it does make, uh, you know, Therefore, it makes seeing the attacks that Nightmare makes much, much easier. Another thing I would recommend you is to have the voice, the middle button, a little bit up, because that way it is very easy to know what you need to pray. And also, throughout the fight, we are going to be praying piety with either protect from magic, protect from missiles, or protect from melee. I'll be talking about the combat as we do it, so let's just, uh, I guess, enter the Nightmare. 
All right, so let's go ahead and defeat a full kill while I try to give you guys some tips on how to, you know, take as little damage as possible. Now, first of all, the boss itself can attack you with three attacks. It can attack you with Mage Hit, which is a red twirly thing, a range hit, which has a sound cue that sounds like tick, tick, tick. At that point, you know it's going to be a range hit. And between those attacks, you can pray melee. So that is just the basic attacks from the boss itself. If you just check and look at the gameplay, you'll see how I do it. I pray melee between the hits, and then I either pray range or I pray magic. If you want to be lazy, you can camp magic pray, because very rarely will the boss actually focus you and attack you with a melee hit. Now, between those attacks, the boss does different animations and different other things. Now, it can spawn husks or different like black monsters which pretty much stuck you at the place it can also spawn a black hole which will damage you if you stand on it between the phases it will become invulnerable and you need to defeat the four pillars at the point when you defeat the pillars it will take 800 damage so you usually kill the pillars with magic because you can also heal in the process of doing it but if you don't have the magic if you just take melee you can melee it always after the pillars a different soul monsters will spawn um, one swipe with a sight does the trick but if you don't have a sight you can blood barrage those and once again if you kill the soulless you will not take many damage you will only take five but if you don't, you will take a lot of damage, so you need to make sure you kill those. Now, this attack right here that you just witnessed curses you. Therefore, your, ma your prayers, protection prayers, are switched. So your magic prayer is now your range prayer. Your range prayer is now your uh, attack prayer. And your attack prayer is now your magic prayer. So it always jumps one place to the right, if you can imagine it like that. So that messes with you a little bit, but once you do a kill or two, you instantly figure it out. And once again, a second phase is down, and you just wanna, um, you know, either trident or sanguinesti staff the pillars. But once again, if you do not have uh, the trident or the staff, feel free to just scythe it down or whip it down or whatever you're using to kill the Ashihama itself. Use that to defeat the pillars as well. Uh, as you can see here, I do one swipe on the soulless and then I prepare for the next phase. It is not worth it to attack the phase right here because you cannot damage it. Therefore, I wait for this phase to disappear and as soon as it turns blue, you can smack it and it will take damage. There's also um, different flying things that I do not know the name of. You want to be killing those because because those little little things actually heal the boss. So if you see those, definitely focus them down. But that is another trick you can do. What I'm doing right now is just to camp magic prayer and just do one step back. In that case, you're not going to be milled unless the boss follows you. Therefore, you might be milled. Uh, but once again, we are closing in on almost completing the kill. This one was very fast. It took us about three minutes, three to four minutes. And uh, after the final phase, it can also charge. So the charge will deal up to 50, 60 damage if you're in its way. However, this time around, I don't think the boss charged at all. It didn't charge. Sometimes it's going to charge. You can see it uh, when the boss jumps to the side. And then, oh, there it is. Never mind. It did it. It just charged through the screen pretty much. Uh, but once again... We just, uh, you know, mage the pillars and the boss will uh, be defeated. So that is just a little bit of, uh, you know, tips and tricks of how to defeat it. But uh, if I could if I could just say one thing, once you do 10 kills, you will pretty much know what the boss does. Uh, the drop in this one were some adamant arrows, 6k, yikes. But now let's go ahead and jump in the next 50 kills and see how much loot we got. I did most of the kills with Solo Mission, Rexy and Viriditas. They are my, my mates and we honestly had a bunch of uh, fun, a lot of laughing. It was great. It was honestly a lot of fun. Um, and it took us about, I'd say about 7 to 8 hours to complete all of those kills. So let's just check what did we get. <laughs> oh, look, look, look at her little mouth like. Yeah. It's like she sucked in at a teeth right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, what the fuck? Oh my god. Wait, it's actually true though. What is that? <laughs> yeah, drowsy again. Okay. Alright, we can attack the boss. Wait, boys. we did it! It's dead! Yeah, we actually just did it! We did it! It's dead! Let's go, dude! Come on! Nature is! <laughs> dude, I got wait, 30 soul runes! Oh! Bro. Wait, we all get a drop! That's yeah. all yeah. yeah. nature Wait, where the fuck is the drop though? I can see it! And it's that nice second kill. Good luck, boys. Nice, soon, nice, soon, nice. Soon. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Eleven Your essence. Logs. Thirty-one death runes. Oh my! What is this, dude? So when you kill these pillars, it dies instantly. But if you don't, it heals back up. I got three prayer potions.
Good luck, good luck, good luck. I, <laughs> I got six, six uncut emeralds. Fucking pure essence, mate. What is this dog shit? Where are you? Trade me. Oh, good luck, boys. Yeah, I have no super super sets left. I got magic lugs, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Mifrilor. Also, it's very easy to spot the loot now. <laughs> With this, like, you can actually see what you got. And I got Torstal. When you, when you get excited for a 20k drop, because it's not fucking 30 Zolrus. <laughs> This one is the one, boys. I got fucking ba I got five base or bass or whatever the fuck this is. Hey, thanks right. for the subs, everyone. Everyone <clears throat> just subscribed. Absolute beasts. And when it does the little red blobs, it's gonna mage. But these. Oh, God. I'm gonna choke. You have to dodge the black pools as well. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when it does. <laughs> Oh, oh Need explanation. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> You're so annoying. Huh? But I got four sharks, man. What is this? I got three brews. This. Good luck, good luck. This one is the one. This one is the one. <laughs> I got Adam and Darrow's. Woo! Nice. I got a thousand pure essence, mate. It do be like that sometimes. Oh my, I got 40 death, death runes. Yeah, why am I not surprised? 16 soul runes. 16! I got pure essence, what a f- Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. I got four magic logs. This one is the one, I'm feeling it. Holy, he actually got jar. Oh no, that is tragedy, dude. I need to bank anyways. Oh, that's tragedy, dude. Yeah, that's the first thing we saw in 19 KC. Holy moly. I got, guess what, King Essence again. Ah, pure Essence again. If you believe hard enough, you will get- Hey, I got Gold Ore, it's different. It's different, dude, nice. I look, same drop, Cosmic Runes, woohoo. This one is the one, this one is- The only thing I can really think of is, maybe if we're killing the boss wrong. Like, look at this, yeah? 81 Eddy Arrows. I don't think we're doing it wrong, but... Look, 81 Eddy Arrows, 5k. What we have from now is 8 minute kills for 10k loot every single time, right? I just got 4 uncut emerald, I'd get more if I mined. Oh, the second jar, the second jar, unlucky fella. Unlucky fella. Ah, yes, my favorite, pure essence, again. I just got 2 Valentines, mate. I got 10 adiors. Alright, good luck, buddy. This one is the one, this one is the one, this one is the one! Grimmy Cannontine, woohoo! KC number 37. And I got 19 blood runs. I just got 5 uncut emeralds. 5. I got 5,000 coins. Hmm, pure essence again. It literally, only co these, these drops are the worst. Two Zami Brews, what is this? A Zami Brew, I'm not even gonna loot that. <laughs> Death runes, 33. Your logs. <laughs> Alright, one more. Here we go, 50 KC should happen right here. Let me just lower these sounds because they're very, very loud. And we get 83 rune arrows. So, the first, the first idea of this boss is it is actually a boss where you lose money. You don't actually make money doing this boss unless you get one of the rare drops, and that makes me really want to get a rare drop. Therefore, I will actually probably commit um, as much time needed to get that one drop. However, I obviously cannot put that in today's video, so I think I'm gonna be ending it here. 50 is a nice sample size, so in that 50 KC, most of the kills were with 80 people, and all I have seen were two jars, so what we can take from that is the fact that the drops must be extremely rare. I haven't seen any armor pieces, I haven't seen the staff, and I haven't seen the orbs. So I think it's fair to assume that the drop rates are insanely rare. So uh, I'm really excited to see for the future of this boss how much the prices of certain items will even be. Because if the rarity is as high as it seems to be, the, the items are gonna be insanely expensive, especially the staff, so that really motivates me to do this boss a little bit longer, and I will do that. So, some interesting statistics before I completely end this video. We profited about 250k in just about over 8 hours, 
and we lost way over 13 million in just supplies that we used to kill the boss. So, yeah, today we went minus 13 mil, but uh, at least we had fun, we had lots of laughs, and honestly, um... Yeah, I don't really know what to think about this boss, if I should recommend it to you to kill it, if I shouldn't recommend it. I'm not quite sure if you have money to just throw away, I guess go ahead, try out the boss. Maybe you got lucky, I guess it's like a lottery boss at the moment. Um, with the future, obviously, you will get to do this boss and use minimal supplies, but just to use the scythe and to use the sanguinesti staff and stuff like that, you will be losing money, uh, you need to be prepared to lose money if you want to do this boss. That is all I wanted to say for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again very soon.